Hey there, and welcome back. Today I am at Back to the 50s at the Minnesota Fairgrounds. There are over 11,000 cars here today. Let's take a look. This is the 50th annual Back to the 50s weekend, and this has been on my bucket list for a long time. This is my first time to this show. The show is put on by the Minnesota Street Rod Association. Back to the 50s brings well over 11,000 cars to the fairgrounds every year. And the best part is these are all cars from 1964 or earlier. And Mustangs being 1964 and a half do not qualify to come. There we go. I found a bunch of vintage wreckers. Here we have a hot rod wrecker. But these are what I'm more interested in. This beautiful old Ford. Fully mechanical wrecker. It looks like the other wrecker is owned by the same person. The same logo on it. This one has a huge winch. Looks like it's PTO driven. This is a pretty rare car. This is a Willys Aero Lark. Here's a British Ford, a Ford Anglia. Another Anglia. It's a Nash Metropolitan with a GM Ecotech. Looks like it's front wheel drive. The wheels are spaced out weird, probably because it's on another chassis. There are Metropolitans all over here. Really neat old Pontiac ambulance. There's a bunch of Volkswagens, the three Beetles, and a little Carmen Ghia. Another Beetle over there. I just found a beautiful Mercedes 190 SL. This is a 1951 Graham. Let's see what it's powered by. Looks more modern than the original engine. Not sure what that is. It's a really rare car. This is a Canadian version of the Mercury called a Monarch. Ford Anglia drag car. This one has a full cage inside. Here's a neat car if you don't want a Bel Air. This is a 56 Oldsmobile Holiday. Here's a nice Studebaker Avante. Here's a Hudson Hornet. Take a look at that engine. Dual air cleaners, dual carbs. This one even has air conditioning. Of course, that's aftermarket on this car. I don't know what this is, but there's some Mad Max looking trucks here. Looks like a rat rod truck group. This thing is huge. They put an old sleeper cab on this Ford. If you want to learn more about these trucks, go to Wrenching for the Future on YouTube. I love this. Look at this beautiful old Ford. Another Willys Jeep. Here's one that I didn't think I would see. This is a Hillman Husky. Obviously transplanted with a dual overhead cam, turbo engine. Door handles and taillights are Frenched in. There's a beautiful MGA. This is the second one that I've seen, but it, this one is way nicer. Look at this, a Jaguar XK150 Coupe. This is pretty neat. This is a 1938 International Armored Car. This thing is nicely restored. It's an old hot rod. 
Really interesting hoop design. This is really cool. I think it's a 1941 Chevrolet and they have put massive tires on this thing. I think the door is right. This is a WTF. Here's another Hillman Husky. I guess these are pretty popular here. It's a 1933 REO. It's pretty radical. Looks like this car races in grid life. It's pretty neat. We found a DKW. They've done an engine swap though. Morris Minor with a gigantic engine. Surprisingly, there's still a lot of room inside. Found a Dodge Power Wagon and another one not too far away. It's a little bit different. This is a Ford Thames pickup truck. It has a Ford flathead in it. Now I've got a 1923 Gray. It's I probably wore that out as a child because I just... Here's a home-built car that was in the 1951 Mechanics Illustrated. Found an old Saab 9.6. Another Mad Max looking creation. Here's an old GMC bus. Looks like it's on a newer chassis. 